Hello and welcome. So today we're going to see how we can fork the project and how we can create the pull request. So this is my GitHub profile. Uh, I have four repos here and I have an organization. So I will be using this organization as my project. So I will click on this and we're going to fork this repo. So I have a blank repo. As you can see, it's fairly there's only one file here and we're going to fork this so in an ideal situation you will be forking anybody else project so in my case i only have one account i will be using my account but i'm using another organization as you can see i have this as a separate organization if i show you again so in organizations i have this profile so i will be using this one and i will click on education so we will fork this one and if i click on fork it can show me the number of profiles i have so i want to fork this profile into this one right so i will click on this and now it's forking as you can see now i have this a clone or a fork education repo here right so as you can see here it says fork from uh, my organization name which is Twitter slash education but it has been forked to this profile which is Tarek s slash education uh, so since i have this profile and i can make changes here or i can create uh, or i can clone this repo to my local and then i can make some changes so let's clone this repo so i will say i will copy this and i will come to my git kraken i will click plus I will click on URL and I will education slash port. I will paste the URL, which is the same for pull and push, and I can add this remote. As I will add this remote, as you can see, I have to give the password. Okay. And now, as you can see, I have this. Uh, clone. I have cloned that port repo here, and we only have the master branch. We have one file which is readme.md, and it's only contain one line which is education. Okay, so now we can make changes here. So what I can do is I can create a local branch. I can say so I can create a branch here, and I can say uh, since master already exists, so I will say edu feature okay and let me create a branch so i am at the master sorry the edu feature and in this edu feature let me create a file and i will create education file okay and let's say i will write one sentence that and say education is life and let's commit this thing Stage this. So we will say education file created and we can commit. We have a one commit and we can uh, push this commit to, to the education port remote. So we can push and we are pushing it and it pushed successfully. Let's see, let's see here. So we will refresh this. Okay, so we have an education file created, and as you can see, this branch is one commit ahead from the Toto master, which is which is the original master branch. We are one commit ahead because we created this commit. And now what we can do is we can create a pull request. We can create a pull request to make a request to the project owner that we have we have a commit. Please review this commit. So we are done with the change. For example, we have completed the feature. And now we want to request the project owner to review the change. So we can click here either, or we can click, we can create a, a pull request from here also. So we have two options. We can create the pull request from the Git Kraken, or we can create the pull request from here when, uh, when we click on this link. So uh, let me uh, create the pull request from Git Kraken. So I can click here. I can say from this 
repo which is the fork repo we fork here and two to the destination repo from this branch master to this branch and we will write the description that please review the, the new file and we can add the reviewers in this case we only have the one reviewer and we can create a pull request if we click on this then we will go to the github but we want to create the pull request from here so let's create the pull request from here and so successfully created the pull request and we can view on the github so let's click on this and on the github as you can see now we are at the original uh, repo the the project repo the, the project owners repo here this is the person who created the pull request and now we can see the file this is the comment he wrote and we can see this file education file created which is the actual commit as we have the, the click here we can see the file so this is the file name and this is the change okay let's see the change and we see that this looks good to me okay make it submit the review and when we have we have submitted the review and then we can merge this pull request because we we find we, we found out that this is a good code and it's good to merge we can merge this confirm the merge we have merged the pull request and now we have the education file here which contains only the one line now we cannot see any pull request we only have one pull request which has been closed and if we look at this and and this is the education file request and if we want to see the updation the updated status we can view the pull request on github we can click on this and we can see what is the status of the pull request and here we can see that it has been merged so this has been merged this commit into the master and and we can if you want to delete the port we can delete it so this is a simple process of pull request how to, how we can port a project and how we can create a pull request and then the project owner can review the pull request and either he can uh, make comments he can merge the code or he can disapprove it. I hope this will be helpful for you and have a nice day.